And uh, I was actually in our mission work that you saw at the beginning of the program in Moldova. And these kids have been abandoned once. And they were, they, I mean, it, it hit Moldova when I was there. And suddenly on the news, you know, 40 people died last night or there's 600 new uh, infections today. And, and they closed the, the borders down, they closed the airport down. And we literally got out on the last flight to Turkey, the very last flight before they shut the whole country down. And I gathered the kids together and our workers and our staff there. And I said, look, I says, I don't know how and I don't know what is ahead of us. But I know that God's there already. And he's faithful and he's never failed us yet. And I said, none of you are going to be put on the street. We're not going to close down Vatra Village. We're going to keep doing exactly what we're doing as if everything was just fine. And you could see the relief on many of their faces because some of the newer ones had this, this abandonment spirit still upon them because they, they, they knew how it was. We have this last year. Now, we, our, our ministry is supported by traveling in churches and stuff. And uh, all last year, we had seven services in the entire year because churches canceled and, and postponed and stuff because of the COVID. And I'm here to report to everyone watching us that as, as you can say, our ministry did not cut back, did not slow down, did not stop. In fact, we, an orphanage contacted us with 24 more kids on the point of being put on the street with no parents, no support. And they says, they, 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 our leader says, what do you want us to do? We've, we've one house that's unfinished. And we took this insane challenge on to finish this house, tens of thousands of dollars, all the container stuff, all the furniture in the containers, shipping it to Moldova. And we were acting as if we'd all the money in the world. We didn't, but we had the God of all the world and, and he never fails. And, and to pastors watching today, I want, you to, I want you to speak a word of faith into their lives that maybe, maybe they're like you, my pastor friend here in, in Clinton. He's burying so many people from COVID and from sickness. And, uh, we, we, you know, we... I commiserate with him. I'm not called to be a pastor. I couldn't do a pastor. I just, it's, it's not in my DNA to do that. I know what I'm called to do. But I love pastors. And to watch him, you know, I've got three funerals today. And, and, and I know it gets into his spirit. And I know there are pastors watching Ronnie right now. And, and, and they're saying, you know, you know we're going through, uh, we're almost underwater. Give us a word of faith to let them know that this God that started us out at the, at the beginning of the Red Sea when it opened is the same God that's going to get us out the other side, even though Pharaoh is breathing down our necks. Speak to those pastors today, if you could, and give them a rhema that there's hope in this situation, that God is working all things together for his good. Share with us. You remember when Nehemiah was building the wall, Sand Ballad and Tobias came and they had an orchestrated attack, Absolutely. a strategy. And the strategy was if we can get him to meet with us, if we can pretend that we're on his team, that we just want to talk to him, if we can just get him distracted, we can have our way with him. And you remember what it says in Nehemiah 6. It says, listen, I'm not leaving what I'm called to do to go down yes. and does these things with you. I don't have time Mom. to mess with you. I speak that over these pastors. When the enemy comes and whispers you're a failure, you need to quit, your church is going under, you're not called to do this anymore, why do this, why deal with all this division, this demonic activity, you need to say, listen, devil, I don't have time to go down to the pit where you are and leave the mission and the mandate that God has called me to. Pastor, if you're watching this, I want to say to you, keep going, keep dreaming, keep witnessing, keep preaching, keep loving, keep Absolutely. sowing. Yes. Don't give up on the kingdom of God because I'm telling you, your work will be finished. Your dreams will come to pass. You've got to look at things. Hallelujah. The eyes. You may not complete every task that you had a vision of or a dream of, but your children's children may finish the work God's called you to. And they're watching right now in this difficult season to see if yes. you will stay faithful. And I am preaching to myself as much as I'm preaching to you. We must keep going. 
We must keep dreaming. We must stay faithful. We cannot give up on the mission that God has called us to in this season. This is not a time for cowards. This is no, not sir. a time for this is not a time for lazy people. We've got to dig our heels in and we've got to lift up the name that is above every name. Hallelujah. And Lord of Lords. And I believe, Philip, with all my heart, if you'll lift him up yes. and our faith will be him, not in politics or not in anything that has to do with humanity, if we'll lift Jesus up, we're going to see the greatest revival over the course of the next two years. Listen. Do you have do you have a listening device in this this studio? Before? You won't believe this. I opened my my iPad uh, my iPhone today, and I read to my son Andrew. I said, Andrew, listen to this, and it was Nehemiah six and one. Listen, if you pass to listen to me, this is the Holy Ghost talking to you just now. That's my I, That's the scripture that I read today. And Sambalat and Dumbaya wanted Nehemiah to come down to the, a town called Oh No. Oh no. no. Every time they try to get you off the wall, just say, Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, no, no. No, no, no. And that is the scripture. I read, I read the whole thing. How many, how many verses? 12 verses today, Andrew? I, I, I read the whole thing sitting over in this, the seat over here. I, that's what came up in my scripture verse today. And I read it to him and I said, Andrew, this is so pertinent for today. They were building a wall. There were false prophets. There were all kinds of stuff going on. And Nehemiah had to say, look, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to hide in the temple. They wanted to get him into the temple so they could kill him. They, they prophesied him to go into the temple. And he says, no, I'm not going in there. Am I going to run away from this? No, he says, I'm going to keep building the wall. And he said, the walls are finished, but the gates are still open. And let me tell you something. Don't have gates open in your life. Because that's, if the devil can't get through the wall, he's going to get through the gate. And what Ronnie just spoke to you just now about, I, I, that is confirmed by the scripture. And the Holy Ghost spoke to me about that just before we come on this program. So if you're a pastor, if you're a, a, a believer, and you're going through the biggest storm of your life, and you've got Sanballat and Tobias around you, and they're trying to take you off your vision and pull you off the wall and say, look, sit down and quit. Come in so we can kill you. Let me tell you something. You're not quitting. What day, what's the day? day uh, uh, what, this is the 12th. Write this down somewhere. On the 12th of January, 2021, I am not quitting. I know I tell you those dates and they move all the time. But I want you to say it for today. It is the 12th of January, 2021. And devil, I am not quitting. And if you will stand up and keep the trowel in your hand and the sword in your hand, build and fight, build and fight, whatever it takes, get the walls built. Because let me tell you something, the day will come when those walls will be around a kingdom. And the devil knows, the devil knows more than your critics know. They're just tools in his hand. Those, all the naysayers in the San Ballad and Tobias in your life are only tools in the devil's hand. I want you to, in the name of Jesus to talk to them and say, I am not getting off my wall. God's put me here. I'm anointed to do this and get out of my way because if God be for me, who can be against me? And on the 12th of January, you are going to tell the devil, oh no, oh no, no, no. Wow, Ronnie, that was amazing. I, I almost, when you, when you began to talk on that, I almost did a back flip off the chair, but my 65 years wouldn't let me do it. So there you go.